We're at the midway point of the 2015 Australian Men's Interstate Series. Queensland playing Northern Territory, the first time for Northern Territory in the competition in more than 100 years. Blake Proverbs has been playing some terrific golf, hasn't trailed in a single match so far. He was three up after three. We teed off the 13th. That was a booming drive down the second, which set up a birdie. He was playing Mitch Gridley, who was doing everything he possibly could to try to stay with Blake. But uh, another big tee shot here for Blake. This was the fourth, so the tenth hole of the match. Another great approach shot. Blake won that game, seven and six. A very big win. In the number six game, Anthony Quayle, he too jumped out to a big lead. Was four up after nine holes. He'd beat Peter Hargraves in the end. Six and four. This was the number three match. Lee Shacklady. Nice putt there at the fourth. But Jake McLeod, he had an early lead here in this match as well. This was a great recovery shot from over the back of the fourth. McLeod would go on and take that match. Six and five. The number one match between Taylor McDonald and Will Hetherington. Hetherington just missed his... Missed the green there at the 15th. Played a nice chip shot up there. Taylor McDonald played steady. Kept putting the ball, kept finding the greens. This was his tee shot to the 15th, the par three. He'd go on and win six and five. So that's four wins for Queensland, enough to take the contest. The other three games were fairly close. Simon Vitikangas. That was the best shot we saw at the par 3 15th, but he trailed. And this was Mark Stephen, his opponent on the 4th. Shows that there's many ways to play a golf hole. Shanks it into the trees, chips it to this point, holds this putt for bogey, and halves the hole. That kept him one up at the time. But Simon won three straight holes down the stretch, and Stephen wasn't able to hang on. Fitter Kangas winning that 2-1. and one. Five wins now for Queensland. The number seven game, Shea Wolves Cobb, lipping out a bunker shot on the first. He was playing Daniel Brown in a high quality match. This was Brown's approach shot to the fourth, set up a birdie. Got him back to one down after 10. This was the 10th hole, so the 16th of the match. Still one down at the time, Shea one up. Hit this great chip shot to halve the hole in birdies, the par five. All came down to the final hole. Shea needed this for a one-up win and wasn't able to convert. A three-putt on the last hole, and that game would finish all square. One final match, Corey Crawford in the number two game. Missed the green, came up short at the par three 15th. That chip shot, a great recovery. This was at the fourth hole. It was still trailing. Two down after nine holes. That got one back. He was then one down after 10. He was still one down after 16. He needed this to get up and down from the bunker there at the 11th on, to mate. keep the match going, which he did. So he was still one down playing the last. He was playing Jake Hughes, who drew a terrible lie after just missing the green at the 12th. Wasn't able to extricate himself. So Corey won the final hole all square. And that meant the overall result was 6-1 Queensland over Northern Territory.